We are finally back in the RV, working on our primary bedroom. I know we told you guys last time that our next space would be the kitchen that we revealed. Um, that's gonna be the next, next space. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> so we're just gonna show off the bedroom first. Okay, um, what's a punch list here? I think some cabinet stuff, um, bed frame, touch up, clean up, headboard, headboard um, some blinds. Yes. And maybe there's a little bit of electrical lighting stuff, but I mean, pretty easy. That's like simple. <laughs> This is the easiest makeover we've ever done. Makeover for babies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just jump right into the makeover. Okay. Here's what the RV bedroom looked like a couple months ago. If you watched our previous videos in this series, then you know that we already did all of the demo work and painted the entire trailer. We also found one issue in the previous videos that we needed to address before we could do this makeover. Um, so, yeah. Ugh, rot. Yeah. flooring we got. That was good. This, this, this. I think that'll work. Hopefully, because we already bought on the floor. As a family, we like listening to music and the old speakers were all worn out. I mean, these are low quality that originally came with the trailer and they didn't look that great. So we decided to go with these newer speakers um, that sound great and look good. Nice. Floors are in. We brought the bed back in. Yeah. Next step is to configure this. That's already configured. No, so <laughs> we took a cabinet out of the other room, if you guys remember. Everybody told me I would regret removing storage, but I'm gonna put some back in here. Because you know what Lindy likes the most? Is to make things more complicated. <laughs> It wasn't balanced. It's never been balanced to me. I feel like you're gonna hit Cause me it the had with your hand. A tiny table over here. And then a big and the big guy over there. So what we're doing is putting the big guy from the other room into here. So that it'll be like do 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 cabinets on all sides around the bed and more storage. And to me that just makes sense. We're gonna reduce the how far this one cabinet sits out so it all sits on this plane. And I think that's gonna look really sharp. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna put a bunch of shelving in it because I think that's gonna be a better use of storage. Yeah. And it's more work for me. So like Lindy's like, win-win. I did the hard work of coming up with all these ideas. <laughs> Amazing. These cabinets. That looks so much better. Is, but the trailers are built so shitty. Like just dealing with the, the flimsy material. I have to like, it's like a struggle in my mind just working with these and not just 
I was wanted to start from scratch and just do new, but this is what the whole trailer is built like, so. I mean, just having them, I just need to attach everything, but. Too dark. I think this is better. Yep. So we'll get a bunch of this so that we can do the whole headboard. And like kind of panels is yeah. what you're thinking. I'm thinking like five is yeah. my guess, but let's have to see how it looks when we get in here. We're trying to figure out where to put these on the wall. And I told Russ, he needs to just lie down. But I have to be 10 inches higher. But still, okay, just like roll around <laughs> like you're sleeping. Like how would you normally like switch positions in your sleep? That is not. <laughs> if it's up here, will you hit your head on that? I mean, I'm 10 inches up. Yeah. Good. <gasps> what do we do? Just scrap them? I like them though. Or hear me out. No. Turn them into a shelf and then a little light underneath them. No. But that works. No. Why? Because I don't like it. It doesn't work. Hmm. I think you're just going to have to put them in. All right. Okay, this is the final height. Mm. Unless I change it. Nope. These are the fabrics for the headboard. We've got foam, batting, and a whole bunch of vinyl. So hopefully we do not change our mind about- Oh, we won't. <laughs> what color we're doing. I don't have clips yet, you know? I ordered them, but they're These not ones? Here. Yeah, I told you that. I thought they came. No, that was the little LED light things that I got. Uh, that I was sucks. wondering why you're doing all this. Well, <laughs> Today. Well, we could if we had clips, but we don't have clips. <laughs> Stay tuned because in a couple days it's gonna get really exciting in here. Oh, it's always exciting in the bedroom. <laughs> here. So you have two parts, you have a male and a female side, and then we'll put these onto the board, and then you have these that go on the wall, and then they click, and it's a nice tight fit, and I forget, they have a weight capacity and we're well under it per clip. I can look at that after, but it's good, so you can trust me. <laughs> This foam is causing us issues. Yeah, if I let go of this, this thing's gonna drop. Okay. Okay, back to the drawing board. We'll figure out a way. We will figure out a way to fix this. Okay, 
came up with a really easy solution. This is just one eighth um, hardboard and we made little spacers. These are pushing the clips out away from the wall. And now, and you go like that and I heard it click and it's good. Yeah. I think for the next ones too, I am gonna do probably four clips per panel. We have them and I rather it be better more yeah. because I mean, this is holding and you're gonna have the mattress holding it too, but I just wanna make sure they stay in place. Here is our helper. Supervisor. Supervisor. You always want to be close, hey? You always want to be close. Last night, we um, got all these panels done and we're really happy with how it turned out. The only thing that didn't turn out was Lindy vacuuming screws up and I couldn't install all the clips. Oh, don't throw, don't get all the screws, okay? So I'm gonna have to quickly run to the hardware store, not a big issue, grab a few more screws, and then we can finish getting all these panels permanently installed. Cool. One of the last steps is our window treatments. Done. Because <laughs> the old window treatments looked horrible. Well, it wasn't that bad. They looked awful. And <laughs> we have these remote control electric ones. Is that overkill for an RV? Absolutely. <laughs> but is it gonna be awesome? Absolutely. And was it free to us? Absolutely. <laughs> So, so this is what we're installing. Yeah, three absolute please make a go. Make a thumbs up. Yeah. But only two thumbs up. <laughs> okay. So this is what <gasps> they would look like. Ooh, that like matches the color. That is really so well. nice. Yeah, so I can. Cool. I mean, that's actually super easy. That Now I need the actual pillows. <laughs> here's another look at what the space used to look like, and here's what it looks like now. Bedroom in the RV. Yeah, we're really, really happy with it. It. Uh, I'm really excited to go camping now. Just like sleek, modern, minimal, pretty headboard, tons of storage, pretty blinds, pretty bedspread. It all works. 
And it wouldn't be a true Lindy and Russ makeover if we didn't actually do some modifying. So like doing the changes to these cabinets, I, it was actually a bunch of work, but I think it's gonna be really, we're gonna be really happy with it when we go to use the RV. Agreed. And I'm really happy with how these little shelves work because they're functional. They actually have like a USB port built in to charge our phones up there. We did debate if we were gonna even install them after yeah. I cut the holes. <laughs> Here is our budget breakdown, and I think we did pretty good for this space. We did get a couple free items. We got our mattress for free and our blinds for free, but the stuff we spent money on, I think we invested well in this space. Yeah. If you liked this makeover, please let us know in the comments. Tell us your favorite part, and don't forget to give this video a like and hit the bell so you don't miss more DIY RV renovations from Lindy and Russ. Or Russ and Lindy. But the vlog's called Lady and Rest. <laughs> okay. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>